Hello beautiful people, it's your girl Opsy baby, Opsy girl and you're welcome to Lux and Chronicles. Make sure to hit that subscribe button already and like this video because why not? It's free, it doesn't cost you anything so like it please. Oh, thank you, thank you. So if it's your first time, you're welcome. If you're returning, you are super welcome. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about body dysmorphia. Yes, and for you, for those of you who don't know what that is, you know, according to the NHS, body dysmorphia or body dysmorphic disorder is a mental health condition where a person spends a lot of time worrying about flaws in their appearance. These flaws are often unnoticeable to others, um, and this condition is most common in teenagers, but it can affect uh, anyone, but it's most common in teenagers and in young adults. And there is a myth that I just want to quickly dispel and it's uh, that people with body uh, dysmorphia or BDD as it's called, uh, body dysmorphic disorder, you know, they are usually, th there's this stigma around it where people think that they are vain, you know, or that they are self-obsessed about their looks. This is not the case with body dysmorphia, it is actually a mental health uh, condition. It can be very upsetting and can have a big impact on people's lives and their families and people around them it's it's quite serious and um as we we go into the video i'll tell you some of the signs of body dysmorphia or bdd according to the nhs website but first i want to explain why i am bringing this topic to you today how did we get to the point where uh now you know the hips are looking quite huge um quite bigger than they are the bomb, you know, you never know what you see outside if, if that's what you're actually going to get. And it's, there is a big trend about all of this going on. Uh, there is also a big trend about BBL. Uh, during the week, I was watching um, ITV, you know, on YouTube. And two special stories really struck me of two ladies that went to Turkey uh, to get things fixed. As a matter of fact, three stories. And if you're following ITV, you would know the stories. I think one of them uh, sadly died in Turkey and it's been disgusting the behavior uh, and the, the, the response that they've got for, or that they've not got from the hospital where this happened in Turkey. And the other two, um, I think one is stuck in Turkey because she developed an infection and it's really bad and re you know really sad if you look at it and the other one actually came back into the UK with an infection she nearly died because she has she has a home to go to I think straight from the airport she said she went home to her mom her mom looked after her looked at her and immediately called uh, for an ambulance and you know if not for her mom acting really quick I don't know if that story would have been different and would have ended being tragic and these two ladies and the family of the a lady who sadly passed away are sharing the stories to the public so that people know that these things are happening especially one of the stories struck me because uh, this young lady said that um, she she was always seeing people on social media Instagram social media and seeing how perfect people looked how flawless people looked and she was always kind of comparing herself and wanting to look like those people wanting to look perfect wanting to look like this curvy shapely bbl figured you know perfect faced women you know and now she's campaigning that on social media we should ban talking and uh, promoting talking about and promoting bbl and all of these uh things that's what she's campaigning for right now now just to make it very clear i personally i am not against surgery I am not against plastic surgery. I haven't had any work done, uh, but I am not against surgery. What I am really going to say is, if you're going to have surgery, you need to do your research. You need to be sure, and you need to give yourself time to do this research. Don't just look at what people are doing and think this is what you're gonna do. You need to kind of reflect on why you want the surgery the reason i'm saying that i am not against surgery is because it's a 
thing of choice. I practice in a field where choice, you know, we have to give people choice and we have to respect people's choices. So I am not against people who choose that option. Um, but I think it's high time we thought about the approach and all of this uh, nasty trend going on, especially on social media. Um, I am a mom of two teenagers. As much as I monitor, I can never be too in their business because they're teenagers. There are things that are going on that we won't even know. Uh, and we cannot control social media as well. But the thing I want to say to teenagers, young people today is, no matter what you think the flaw is, I think you need to, first of all, reflect on, you know, what's going on. Give it time. Don't rush into a permanent corrective surgery, plastic surgery. Just give it time. But I understand that for some people, this is not just, it's not just being vain or just being self-obsessive. It's actually a mental health condition. Then it's a bit more difficult than what I'm just saying. I'm, I'm just saying give it time. It's a bit, it's a bit more serious than that. Um, but I just want to say to you that give it time and whilst you're giving it time speak to your doctor a good place to start will be a discussion with your GP and one of the ladies I said that I watched on ITV and what she said was actually at the time she was wanting this surgery I think she was just 20 years old and she was recommended a mommy makeover and so many parts of her body was like operated upon at the same time where she said in hindsight she would have appreciated a discussion about whether she really needed those surgeries now she knows that it was actually a mental health condition that she had and i think she mentioned in the uh, clip that she is now having support or she's had support for her mental health and now helping other people who are suffering from the same i also want to completely discourage this turkey business going abroad to have this surgeries especially turkey i'm sorry please don't sue me turkey doctors but i think we need to discuss it if you're going to have a surgery as i said i'm not against surgery just because it's uh plastic surgery i think first of all you need to reflect on why you're wanting that surgery and if it's a mental health difficulty or problem you need to be discussing this with your gp you need to seek help for this mental health condition to have a good understanding of what's actually happening before you decide whether you still need that surgery and if you're going to have that surgery and you've decided that you want that surgery i would also encourage you to um, be in a position financially where you can afford that surgery here in the uk i just think it's it's safer it's saner we're hearing a lot of stories of young women women who sadly pass away because they've gone to Turkey to plastic surgery and their families are left devastated and I know that this is a controversial topic and not everybody will agree with me which is why I'm inviting you to put your comments respectfully in the comment section um, but if you're a mom or a dad of a teenager you know how much they think about their looks how much the time they spend thinking and talking about different parts of their bodies that they probably are not happy with and it's it takes its toll on us as well parents uh, not just for them but you know for us as well because we listen to these things and we look at them they look perfect to us and i know that i've had conversations with other teenage moms and other moms of young people and we can't see th those flaws but the thing is they can see it it matters to them but I think that we should be able to guide them in the right way. So I'll just quickly talk about some of the signs of BDD uh, that you may be able to pick if you're suffering from this or as a parent that you might recognize if your young person is suffering from uh, BDD. So uh, number one, they might worry a lot about a specific area of their bodies. You might worry a lot, like more than normal, about a specific area of your body. Uh, you might spend a lot of time comparing your looks with other people's looks 
Uh, this is especially in relation to social media and what is out there for our young people to see the images that are being created. Um, yeah, and sorry, I think I need my glasses. So they might look in the mirror quite a lot or they might even avoid looking in the mirror. So you recognize this, it might be a sign of BDD and they might do so much to can conceal flaws. They might do so much to conceal flaws in parts of their bodies or they might pick at skin, just continuously picking at, uh, at, at their skin. Uh, BDD is a very serious condition. It can lead to depression. It can lead to self-harm. It can even lead to suicidal ideation. So I want to urge you, if you recognize this symptom that is relating to what I've discussed today, the best place to start is by speaking to your GP or your doctor if you're not in the UK. Please speak to your doctor and they might be able to uh, refer you for mental health support if they feel that this is needed. And what the treatment that you're likely to get would be maybe CBT, which is cognitive behavioral uh, therapy, or antidepressants, or a combination of CBT and antidepressants. If you have any question, comment, um, any remarks at all, uh, please leave it uh, in the comment section. Please share this video. It's very important that you share it so that people affected you know all their families can see this video uh, please give it a thumbs up if you've liked it and just turn on your notification uh, for more videos from me and to like come your way next time just always remember that I really do love you Mwah. bye